Oh, dubs, dubs, dubs. Most cases when anime is licensed to the United States, it usually gets dubbed into English. However, though, sometimes they go overboard with the English dubs and how many they are produced for one anime. In case you guys are kind of curious about what I'm talking about, Lupin the Third, The Mystery of Mamo, which is available on DVD set by Disco Tech Media, contains four English dubs. Now, normally I would say like an anime would get like one or two dubs at the most, but four English dubs is a lot of English dubs. And you guys are kind of curious on why did they have so many dubs? I guess it's for licensing reasons. Well, in 1978, like Toho Company Limited decided to dub the movie for Japanese airlines, and so that English speakers could actually enjoy the movie. So that's the reason why they actually dub it for 1978 dub. For the Streamline Pictures dub, I guess they acquired the rights to Lupin the Third and wanted to dub it again, only this time with their voice cast. So I guess that's another reason why they actually dub it again. And I guess for the 1996 manga dub that they licensed the same movie and wanted to dub with their own cast. And I think for like the 2003 uh, Pioneer dub, they actually wanted to be dubbed with their own voice cast because the Pioneer dub cast actually dubbed Lupin the Third, uh, the second series. Without further delay, let's compare the characters and the voices for this one particular movie. The first character we're going to compare is like Lupin himself. Now Lupin is like a descendant of the original Lupin from France, but he's actually a mastermind and a thief and a burglar, you can name it. He's also really playful though, and he is really, really funny, and he also has a session with like Kushiko Muni. So this is like the Toho dub of Lupin, and how he sounds. Ah! How come you got all enthusiastic so suddenly? Oh, life is a bore. Oh, how worthless and stupid it all is. Quite honest, I think that Toho dub is actually um, pretty okay for Lupin's voice, but it's not really that fitting though. So let's try out the uh, manga dub of Lupin. Negative. Oh boy. One glimpse of the jackpot and I'm in demand suddenly. Typical. Really typical. Yeah, I don't. I think he's actually pretty much much better than the Toho dub for the manga dub. But still, there's something missing out there. So let's try out the streamlined pictures version of Lupin. Mm, Fujiko. You cut me to the quick. I can't believe how unromantic you are. I mean, I risked my life to bring you this bobble. As you can see, I think this one is actually way better than both the manga dub as well as the Toho dub. But there's just one element that is actually missing now. And so let's listen to the Pioneer dub of Lupin. My god, look at you. You're not so indifferent right now, are you? I must say... I don't know why I bother. As you guys can see here, like, Lupin actually has this playfulness to him. He is really, really out there, and I think the guy who did the voice for Lupin for the Pioneer dub is actually called, like, Tony Oliver. And I think he's, like, the best Lupin out there. But that's my personal thoughts about the matter. So what are you guys' thoughts about the Lupin and which one is the best one? The next character we're going to compare is Fujiko Muni. She's really, really seductive towards Lupin. She's also really, really naked almost all the time. She's like the femme fatale for this series. And so this is the Fujiko from the Toho dub. It was nothing at all. Lupin is nothing but a puppet in my hand. Come out and show yourself. As you can tell, she actually is pretty flirtatious in this one, actually. And I think I like her voice tone a lot, but that's my personal preference. And this is the voice for uh, Fujiko for the manga dub of this movie. Oh, I've done things that are far more difficult and evil. Wolf is putty in my hands. Remember, you promised you'd reveal yourself as a reward for the stuff. Again, she's actually pretty subjective for the manga dub. So yeah, let's listen to the pioneer dub of Fujiko. In some strange way, Lupin and I complement each other perfectly. And now I believe the time has come for you to introduce yourself. Again, she is uh, really, really suggestive and really, really seductive. And yeah, I don't, th I don't think any of the English dubs for Fujiko Muni is actually pretty bad. And lastly, let's listen to the uh, to the streamlined picture dub for Fujiko. What do you expect? Besides, playing Lupin for a fool is like stealing pencils from the blind. Only you don't feel so bad about it afterwards. Now, come on, show yourself. Overall, I guess it's up to your personal preferences. Personally, I like all of the Fujikos and the English versions because they all sound actually pretty good. 
So, yeah. The next character we're gonna compare is Jigen. Now, Jigen is actually a gunslinger, and he can fire so many shots at once, and he's like the gunsmith of the Lupin gang. And he's supposed to have this rough, kind of deep voice, at least when I got from the Japanese version of the show. So here's the Toho dub of Jigen. Lupin, forget that woman. This is it. I've had enough. I've reached my limit. And it must have been Margot who told them about this place of ours. If you don't drop her, I'm getting out of this deal right now. Toho dub, I don't think, is uh, pretty close to the character. I kind of picture him having a much more of a deeper voice, at least to my opinion. But then let's also compare like the 1995 uh, streamlined dub for Jigen. Look, it's obvious what happened. We know who must have told him about this place. A certain redhead with a motorcycle and a skin-tight black leather jumpsuit on. She's nothing but bad luck. Either you dump her or you can count me out. He's also not bad at all. He's actually sound pretty good. I guess he's in character. But that deep voice though, I don't think he has that deep voice, at least to me. So let's try out the manga dub of Jigen. Wolf, I'm just a little pissed off. And I'm telling you, you've got to forget Fujiko. She must have shown the strong arm boys and the mob this place, and they did the rest. It's time to make some painful choices. It's either Fujiko or me. Don't tempt me. He's actually pretty close there, actually, at least to me, but, um, yeah, he's really, really close. Now let's try out the 2003 Pioneer dub of Jigen. Look, I'm just gonna spit it out. There's no other possible explanation. Somebody had to have tipped him off, and there's only one person that that could be. This is it, man. You're just gonna have to choose between us and her. I think, to me at least, the Pioneer dub of Jigen is like the definitive version of Jigen for Lupin in any kind of English dub. He has this deep voice. He sounds like a badass. To me, he is the definitive Jigen, at least in my opinion. The last character in the Lupin game is actually called uh, Goyamon. Now, Goyamon is like this really badass samurai. And I guess he speaks like a traditional samurai too. He doesn't use the modern words and language that we use today. Joking? I thought you were the one who was joking. It was a mistake to take this job from a female. And then, out of sheer vanity, you decide to accept evil in return for good. Honestly, he sounds uh, really, really too deep for the character for the Toho dub. I kind of picture Goryamon sounding much, much, much more lighter in voice tone, at least to my opinion. So let's try out the uh, 1995 uh, streamlined dub. It's you who should give it a rest, Lupin. This infantile need to prove your virility is humiliating to behold. And dangerous. Your lust for this creature has blinded you to her true nature. Nah. Now this is actually what I have in mind for like Goyamon. He definitely, definitely, definitely sounds exactly what I picture of him when I see him. He's definitely the best voice for him, at least in my opinion. So let's try out the 1995 manga dub. A samurai warrior cannot work for a female. You accepted the commission to steal the stone for her only because you like the look of her ass. The wise man has said, nice asses turn men into asses. True. Yeah, um, I don't see how his voice for the manga dub actually fits the character at all. Yeah, it does not sound that great to my ears, at least. And finally, let's try out the uh, 2003 Pioneer dub. Bad enough that your infantile addiction to this woman has consistently rendered you an unreliable business partner. But even now, as she conspires with others to have us killed, you continue to defend her. That 2003 Pioneer dub actually sounds pretty close to what I had in mind as well. But if I had to pick between like the Goryamon of the Streamline Picture stuff from the Pioneer dub, I'd probably have to pick like the one from the uh, from the Streamline dub because that's the one I actually picture in mind for Goryamon. What is Lupin and his gang without Inspector Zenigata? Oh my god, this guy never gives up on trying to catch Lupin and his gang. Like he is one cool badass detective or inspector rather. So anyway though, let's listen to the 1978 version of Zenigata. <laughs> Lupin, trying to live forever by doing the same thing as Count Dracula. You've gone too far this time. There are limits to everything. He sounds alright though. He really sounds alright. He has this kind of lighter voice than I expected though. I kind of expected like Zenigata to have this kind of deeper voice, at least when I got from the Japanese version of the show. 
because he had this deeper voice. So let's listen to the 1995 streamlined picture stub of Zenigata. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Count Dracula? Well, I read the book, and Dracula gets his in the end, just like you're gonna get yours. Here, let me treat you to a nice steak dinner. For that 1995 Zenigata version, I thought that's like the perfect voice for him from all the dubs so far, but um, let's listen to the other dubs of like Zenigata. This is like the 1995 manga dub. Wolf, buddy. I know what you're up to, but I ain't buying your innocent undead Dracula act. Okay? You've met your match in me. Ah! Yeah, that's like definitely the worst voice for Zenigata for this one. I don't see how it actually fit this character whatsoever. So let's finally listen to the 2003 Pioneer dub of Zenigata. <laughs> Give it a rest, Lupin, will ya? All right, now let's see just how far you're willing to take this little charade all the way to the grave! He's like in second place for me for that voice of Zenigata, but I think the best voice of Zenigata of all the dubs so far is probably like the streamlined picture stuff. The last character we're going to compare is a guy called Mamo. Now, Mamo is like the villain of the mystery of Mamo. When I first saw his character on the cover art, like I thought like he's gonna have this kind of missing voice and sound really really evil or like Shakespearean. <laughs> this is not a mental hospital and we are not having a costume ball either. These are all the actual people, just as you see them here, Lupin. Yeah, nothing that I kind of picture in mind for like Mamo. He does not sound nothing like a picture. He, sound, he doesn't sound bad, but he doesn't sound fitting for the character at all. So let's try out the 1995 uh, Streamline Picture stuff. <laughs> oh, such wit. This is neither an insane asylum nor a masquerade ball. Those particular individuals you have met are not imitations, Lupin, but the real thing. Mm, he's not bad either, though, but um, definitely much better than the 1978 Toho dub. But still though, there's something that's kind of missing though, at least in my opinion. So let's listen to the 1995 manga dub. <laughs> this is not a hospital, and it's not a costume ball either. The people you've met, Wolf, are actually the people you've met. Now that sounds pretty Shakespearean, and that sounds pretty menacing too. So, so far I think like the 1995 manga dub of Mambo is the best voice of Mambo, at least in my opinion. And now finally, let's listen to the 2003 Pioneer dub of Mambo. You seem to be under the misapprehension that this is some sort of an asylum for the insane. I assure you, nothing could be further from the truth. Mr. Lupin. For the 2003 uh, Mambo, he doesn't sound bad either, but his voice is way too deep for the character, at least to me. He's, not supp he's supposed to sound really Shakespearean a little bit, but also menacing. If I had to pick one English dub for Mamo, the character, I'll probably have to pick like the manga dub for that voice, because he sounds exactly what I picture in mind for that character. So, which is the most faithful dub of the um, Mystery of Mamo movie? It's pretty subjective though. If you guys have different voice preferences, you probably like one of the other dub, or like both dubs or many dubs of the movie. Now, the most faithful dub I've seen of the movie has to be the Toho dub because it actually sticks closely to the dialogue of the movie. But the voices themselves are pretty actually good for a 1978 dub of an anime. But not my personal preferences for anime voices. So if you guys want to see a faithful dub of that movie, please check out the Toho dub of the film. Now, the 2003 um, Pioneer dub actually is probably my favorite dub of the bunch. But it has a lot of alterations to the characters and motives and so on and so forth. But still, I think it's like the best voices and that doesn't really matter though. So in terms of voices, I think the best ones is probably the, the Pioneer dub. Though second close still probably has to be the Streamline Pictures dub because that one's also pretty damn good as well. The manga dub to me is like the worst dub of the bunch. So anyway though, I hope you guys enjoy my comparison. If you have any more questions or comments, please tell me down below. And also tell me your preferences of the characters of the devs down below as well. This is TB20 and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.